Yet another chat about pregnancy. Yeah. We're going to be talking about baby must haves yeah. and items we think are overhyped when yeah. shopping for baby, but yeah. didn't really work for us. Mm. So, join in the discussion. My name is Edwin. She forgot to introduce me. Can you imagine? But she's here like the third time. She oh, was, yeah. if you've seen her before, please go back and watch that previous video and find my name there also. <laughs> She's Edwin, my sister. Clearly, she's a mom because of this little one. Lily Joy, introduce yourself. Say hello. Look at okay. people. Say hello. We get you. Oh. Edwin, yeah. You have four children. Oh my. Mm -hmm. What items have helped you? Like when you're taking care of them. Like you think are must have and are really essential and vital in raising a baby, especially from zero to twelve months. Zero to twelve months. How? Before I even focus on the baby, mm. I look at myself. Eh? Mm. You know, after you've given birth, there's a way you need to be tender on yourself. You also need to love yourself. So I think one of the first items, like still in hospital, mm. you need to have disposable knickers. <laughs> mm? Yeah, you need to have disposable knickers and breast pads. Breast pads. They make life easy. You, have, you don't have to no wash. washing. Oh my yeah. god, <laughs> that's true. For people that don't like washing, like myself, mm? those ones come in handy. Mm. Yeah, you need to have those ones also. Then also for the baby, mm. you need to have diapers. I think the first two months a baby is in diapers full time, right? Yeah. The first two months, eh? And then the white school. The first six months of six months. months eh? Yeah. And then the white school. So mm. wipes. Like you don't have to bathe the child every time maybe they spoil their cloth or something. Mm. Yeah. So yeah. Baby wipes, the pampas. Yeah, I think for, for the start those four for me. I think I agree with you about breast pads. Mm. So for my previous babies i had like an abundant supply of milk hmm? of our wake up i remember <laughs> the first week, yes the first week uh for my first born i woke up and the bed was wet like i was confused as asking myself did i see so but if i see so so from the mouth it come like up to the head <laughs> I was confused ah. and I was in breast pads, guys. Like, so I needed like a, a continuous supply of breast pads, but changing regularly. Like, in the next, I had to change it twice or use like cloth. Anyway, for me, must have when I'm breastfeeding breast pads. Mm. Breast so pads. Be there. Overall, oh, yeah. So, I feel like this is obvious, but not so obvious for someone who may be a first time man. Mm. Overall, they help. There are those small ones which help in like warm, oh, especially when the baby is a few days. Mm -hmm. So, the overalls should be closed like down, and then there are those which are really nice that they have a flip over the door. You can adjust it and cover, and cover the whole hands. hands. Yeah. So, you're confident that bed is warm. So, yeah, overall. Yeah. Um, what about this? Eh? I think it is that this baby here. We got stuck when we didn't have cotton. You know how you say, ah, oh, the mama kit has cotton. Not knowing sometimes the bleeding can be heavy. So I remember we got, we ran out of cotton in the night. And we called, um, we called my husband asking him to look for cotton. It was in the night. And he came back with this small tiny roll, the one for wounds. Eh? <laughs> it couldn't even make two parts. Eh? So I think you need to have cotton in stock because you never know sometimes we bleed more than maybe the previous children that we've had eh? oh, that's true and for me I, I feel like maternity pads didn't work for me i feel what like they even look like they are pads but for using like instead of cotton you just use them for that but for me they burn to me mm. and i mean as as well as comfortable with cotton so yeah cotton 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 edwin other must-haves must-haves um we need uh, mittens 
but these days while in hospital you're encouraged to do away with mittens the first few days eh? but they can help with the warmth keeping Maybe the baby socks. warm socks eh? depending even on the seasons that you yeah. had your baby like it's this season now season. do you need mittens now mm. Maybe you don't mm -hmm. but if it's a rainy season september october huh you need them in hand they, you need them a lot another must have for a baby is the appropriate um skincare products oh yes because baby's skin is so sensitive in the first so few months much. like if you get it wrong you may suffer like <laughs> healing takes so long mm. and for me my kids struggle they always battle with um skincare Zima. so Zima, yeah. i'm very particular about what products i use actually i don't use soap i don't and you don't use soap, what do you use? Just water? Yeah, you just put olive oil mm. with water. Then you, you just be a little bit careful about all these baby products which are there. But as baby girls, I use Livar. They mm. have a good baby butter that is but good for... Also, the mistake that most parents make, eh? you start the baby on a particular product they use for three weeks, then you change. And when you change for a baby whose skin is very reactive, eh? they may react, they may get rashes and itching simply because you've changed what? You've changed the product. That's true. So when you start with one, just maintain as long as it's treating the child well. Yeah. You maintain it. I think for mothers who are working moms and have to go back to work, they need milk. <laughs> Yeah, to live home. Yeah. Yeah. If you have to go back to work, you must be thinking about what kind of milk are they going to take, the supply, and make sure that you're consistent with that particular brand. If it's SMA, you should be able to maintain. If it's Jessa, the same thing. <laughs> but Jessa is a very cheap option. Very cheap. And then also, if it is your own milk, eh? yeah, if, if you you're can going pump, to pump yourself. <laughs> but when I pump it, you stress. I, I, I did it once, I said I will never. <laughs> I'll breastfeed my, my baby directly. And so if you are a working mom, you might want to invest in a pump. It makes the work mm. easier. Yeah. Because I used to pump. But, okay. Yeah. So what other baby essential? The right skincare products, diapers, wipes, overall. I think that's basically... But do you know, sometimes you know how you go to hospital unprepared, sort of? I'm reached in hospital and they asked for a basin. <laughs> for who? For you? For the baby. No, and it was actually for me. A basin for me. Yeah, usually in hospital. For me. For you. And since it was a private hospital, my lovely head told me, ah, well, they'll be there. Oh, I'll use the shower. Over. And somehow, yeah, the showers were there, but there was a need to have a basin. Don't you don't... Mm. There was a need to have a basin. So, yeah. Okay, so Edwin, what product? You know when you're, when you're shopping for the baby, you can get a list that has a million things, but as you look after the baby, you realize that you do need some things, eh? Yeah. You don't need like three quarters of what's on that list, so trust me. Because there are some things I got, and after just looking at them, you can go ahead and buy them. What is it for? And my first one, mm. baby curry. Let me tell you, I know that the baby carrier is useful for some people, mm. but for me, for the time that I had a baby, uh, I think I used it when I was to, up to the point that I just mm. I knew that I would not need it. Because I don't have the help. Like with someone to carry that baby all the time. Yeah, or to do the work so that I can carry the baby. And if I'm not carrying the baby. Moving, when you're moving, you don't move with the baby? No. Oh, I'm in a car. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Interesting. Interesting. But for me, I still have the pacifier. The pacifier that we bought for our I first child. It. No. For our first child who is 11 years now. And we never used them. So for you, it's the pacifier. Mm -hmm. I'm like... Hmm. Anyway. Point, point, I, and, it, and yet their parents who can't do that, the pacifier. <laughs> Yeah, me too. I don't think I've used the pacifier for my kids. Like, I hope that doesn't account for the fact that they shout and <laughs> scream. 
<laughs> and scream mm. a lot because otherwise they would be now busy on the pacifier mm. probably but i don't i didn't see use for it not at all mm. yeah i see so another thing that i really felt like i needed but when i got it i didn't use it very well as a breastfeeding pillow so i remember for my second <laughs> For my second baby, oh. I was struggling, like clutching, or oh, feeling back pain. So I told my husband, you know what? We need a breastfeeding pillow. And Bambi, he brought it. Oh. You people. <laughs> the pillow came. It was more uncomfortable than it. <laughs> than before. Oh, so I didn't use it, but but then I was still at mom's. Mm. So when I came here, whenever I did breastfeeding, the baby he would bring the breastfeeding pillow and put it there. Then I did more it. Then you ask me, I thought you said you needed this. A brush with, why don't you use that pillow? And it, it was so hard for me to explain that after getting it and using it, just wasn't comfortable, it wasn't working. <laughs> so yeah, brush with your pillow. Mm -hmm. This one I think works for moms who who are planning to do exclusive breastfeeding for the first six months <laughs> bottles eh, like you buy bottles and by the time the kid is six months eh, you're supposed to be training using a cup eh? mm. supposed to be cup training them so now imagine yeah. you bought your bottles so um they may not be of use if you're planning to breastfeed for six months exclusively you don't have to buy many bottles you, you can, can have like one or two yeah. But you know, there the, are these packs of bottles. Eh? You buy a pack and it has so many bottles. That one would, would be just for the shelf for a while because you won't get to use very many. Because a kid at six months can use a bottle like once a day, really. So I was thinking about how you said the pacifier has not worked for your kids. Mm. Do you know if you had brought it, it would give it to you the judge. It should be quiet. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> item i think you have to be careful about when shopping is uh, the baby sheets eh? mm -hmm. i remember for my first born oh. when i was shopping with my sister she told me ah Aaron, like only you know four pairs enough or five i said ah oh, Aileen, five pairs only like in my mind i said five pairs only those are like five days i need to have like seven so that at least like every day of the week you I have, have a pair for baby uh, without having to wash so I bought seven pairs of sheets at my baby shower. I got like other seven pairs of bed sheets. <laughs> of sheets for the baby. Oh my. I had so many sheets to the point that there are some which remained new. Like there are some I didn't use. They were so, so many. many. <laughs> or maybe you should do shopping after your baby shower. But what guarantee do you have that you have a baby shower? No, oh, that that was good. So <laughs> you know, those gifts. So I had so many sheets, and I had to give to the point that for my second, I didn't buy, I didn't buy sheets. I used those which were still new mm. from the previous one, and, and yeah, for them. So don't overdo it. Some of these things, if you give birth in the hot season, you may not even need the sheets because it will be too hot. But also, as an so, experienced yeah. mom, Erin, eh? for me, I have learned, like, as I prepare for the arrival of the baby, I don't buy things. I usually buy after the baby has come. Eh? Mm. Like, you buy stuff, but not in large quantities. Not in bulk, yeah. Eh, you buy, then after the baby has come, when the use is now, now, eh? mm. you, can, you can buy as many. So, at that time, if you are going to have a baby shower, it has actually ended. Uh, so you can just plus plus or not this mm -hmm. deficit. Mm -hmm. Also yeah. for moms who unfortunately like things their babies, or oh, yeah. I think that strategy is easy because you don't have a lot of baby stuff to deal with mm. when baby is not there. So buying it's after. such a sad experience. Yeah. Very mm -hmm. sad. Yeah. So um, Edwin, as an experienced veteran mom. What tips would you give to a mother that's preparing to have baby and as they go out shopping? Like what tips would you give them to make their shopping experience easier? easier? Mm. So, um, you know, having a baby, the process of maintaining a pregnancy and then taking care of the baby for the first one year mm. is quite expensive. Eh? 
Okay. So I would I would advise moms to I think first we know shop of sorts and and find those, market research. Yes, and find those cheap places. Eh? Okay, mm. there are some places that are very cheap, and then some people are not comfortable going to such places. Mm. Yeah, but it's better you buy things at an affordable price. The lowest price. possible yes. price. For, for, for example. You can find maybe a baby suit, maybe an overall. Hmm? You can find someone selling it at 20k. And you get the same at around 4k in another place. That's true. Yeah. So you can look look around and find uh, places which are affordable so that you're able to lower, lower your baby budget. Otherwise, a baby budget can go so up and you're like, oh my goodness, how are we going to manage Comes this? Comes a tight. Uh-huh. <laughs> yes. Um, so for me, I'll piggy bank on what you said previously. I think that like, you should shop as little as possible, especially when it comes to um, things that are determined by size. So before baby comes, maybe they are thinking, oh, I'm going to have like a baby. So you start buying newborn <laughs> sized clothes. <laughs> then you have a ch- baby. baby. <laughs> Well, not even fit in the newborn size. Like, I remember Aileen's baby mm. at like three months was wearing nine months. All his clothes of three months. He was tall. Because he oh, was tall. Yet, yeah. they had shopped for enough, you know, an enough size so. baby. So, they were buying nine months at two months. So, yeah. especially for overalls and those things that have sizes. You can buy, but buy a little and wait to see the size of our lovely baby. <laughs> Just in case you wait for the you. outcome of your hard work <laughs> to yeah. surface. Yeah, so limit. Don't overbuy oh. bulk of you send me I'm buying for one year, maybe. <laughs> mm-hmm. You'll be shocked. Yeah. Mm. Then um another thing I'll say is write down a list. It helps with shopping. When you write down the list of things that you want. The, if when you go out you're not distracted by oh this is cute you're just looking at your list and then asking do you have this and shop at a one-stop center go somewhere which has several things so that you avoid moving because you're already heavy and mm, you need to, you don't have, to, you need to limit your movements yeah you don't get tired so go to those big places that have like so many baby items to the point that if you go there you may live with almost your entire list um what else Covered your entire list covered. Yeah. Um. What else they they can look out for? Eh? Mm. I think we need help. Oh yeah. You need to get a friend, a sister, maybe your mom, anyone. If hubby has time. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You need. You don't. Need, you don't have to do that shopping all by yourself. Get a friend. Yeah. Or even friends if you can mm-hmm. find them. Yeah. Mm. Move with someone and let them assist you. You know, sometimes your brain is super up there that super you can't. Pregnant. Uh, super pregnant. <laughs> but you have that lovely pregnancy brain and you can't think through things. Mm. Um, help would be very nice to take you through your shopping. And also make a budget, like you said, window shop and prepare mentally, financially. So that you start saving. If you fa- if you make a budget at like one month and mm-hmm. when you're one month pregnant, then you start putting aside money by the time you're shopping, maybe at six months. Yeah, you, you're prepared and ready. Mm-hmm. But Erin, I think we are forgetting something. We are Africans, aren't we? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I think it's important for us to tell our friends and family. What? When we are about to bid you, you know, some friends can be having stuff that you may need. Eh? Hand me down. Hey, mm. oh, now it's hand me down, hand me up. Ah. It's Whatever, hand me it, down, hand me yeah, down yeah. still. Yeah. They come in handy. Yes. Mm. Like, you know, you get shoes, you get overalls, you get stuff, and you're like, eh, so now I don't have to buy this. Yeah. Now I don't have to buy this. This is what actually works for most of us, I think. For me, now that I'm having my third, I have enjoyed not having to buy so many things because oh, yeah. I already have them. So it's going to be interesting. Like my third baby wearing stuff that my first baby wore. Yeah, so thank you But so me when, when I first have my second baby, I had nothing that I used <laughs> for my first. You gave away I all? Give, yes, I, I give away my things. 
So I also do, but there are those things that are, are so for me you like you find yourself very attached to them is that I, I I'm not willing to give them. up with yes, <laughs> I keep them and I'm thinking ah, ah. this card dress my daughter has to wear it so I keep it. For me they're just they're just a few pieces that have been used I think by the first three. Mm. Then also then this last three yeah, have I think have tried just a few. But me most of the things I'm like now you know how you know how you but give birth and you're like I have finished. Uh -huh. I'm not giving birth again. Before you know it, <laughs> she's pregnant. Because for you finished after your first. Yes, I have finished like three times. Yeah, and you still think you finished. But I have finished for real. <laughs> for real life. First, my son likes to say for real life. Oh my goodness! <laughs> I have finished. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. We hope that you have a beautiful experience as you shop for you and baby. Thank you for joining in in the conversation. Yeah. And baby, thank you for being here. We really have been more than delighted to be here and make noise for you. Yet chat at the same time with you. Yeah. All right, guys. Bye. Bye. -bye. I hope I get to see you next time mm -hmm. when I get invited. <laughs>